Time now for our CCTV roundup, and we've got some particularly brazen lawbreakers tonight, so keep your eyes peeled. A man in a hat and glasses enters a newly refurbished hotel in Watford. He bypasses reception and heads straight for the rooms. It seems like he can't find the right level. He starts on the third floor and goes down to second. What's he up to? The man creeps down the corridor. Maybe he's found what he's been searching for. If you look closely, you can see he's holding a bottle. But it's not water in there. He starts a fire outside one of the rooms. He runs away, but his sense of direction fails him again, and he ends up in the basement. When all the guests head for the exits, lo and behold, he's finally found his way out, but this time without his hat and glasses. This could have been really serious, but thankfully, no one was hurt. Take a good look at him again. Someone must know who he is. A man is walking with a 15-year-old boy. The man started following him on Eastbury Road, Watford. As they approach Bushy train station, the man asks if the boy will engage in oral sex. When the boy declines, the man tries to keep their interaction light-hearted by offering his hand for a high five. As the boy obliges, the man touches him inappropriately. The man leaves the station, looking back in the direction of the boy. Do you recognize him? Look closely at this one. It happens rather quickly. A man is walking home when he's accosted by a man with a black handgun. According to police, the victim is forced down an alleyway and made to hand over his rucksack and a case containing musical equipment. Take a look again. Police believe this is the same man seen 15 minutes earlier refueling an R-plate black Honda CRV. Police also believe it's the same vehicle that drove past during the robbery. If you've seen the car or the guy with the gun, get in touch. Take a look at these two men in this pub footage from Sherbourne, Dorset. They approach a member of staff in the garden and start to ask about bed and breakfast. Whilst one acts as a decoy, the other one heads inside and starts searching the staff-only areas of the premises. He has a look around the bar, but someone disturbs him, so he hides around the corner. When the coast is clear, he tries again. He goes behind the bar and attempts to open a safe. And this isn't the first time that the pair have tried to burgle a boozer. Here you can see them earlier that day in a Warminster watering hole. They managed to break in during the early hours of the morning and steal from the till. Then, just over an hour after that, they are at it again at a pub in Stowford while customers are eating breakfast. One of them sneaks into the office and uses a tool to nab a safe. They have taken thousands of pounds that don't belong to them. We need your help to call time on these two. Call or text if you can name anyone we've just shown. Text will be charged at your standard message rate. And remember, you can follow all of the developments during the programme on our live updates webpage.